Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and it's time to take on part 54 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, let us go. Um, why is it not responding? I need to actually select the emulator. There we go. Okay. These Crimean ref refugees are no easy beach, and there are more of them than I expected. Hmm. G G General Ricard, enemy reinforcements are approaching from the east. What? It appears to be troops from Princess Crimea's army. The army that brushed aside our troops in Dane and defeated General Patrine at the Riven Bridge? They're marching towards us? Fantastic! I was getting bored hunting stragglers. Let's smash all of these curs and wrap ourselves in glory. <laughs> Fantastic. G G General Joffrey, it's the Crimean army. Princess Alinsha's army is headed this way. Fools. What are you thinking, Bastion? Oh, Princess, it's not too late. Please take wing and flee. Our goal is to rescue those knights near the castle. Attack! Alright. So, we got some villages up here. God, there were a lot of comments uh, about me missing the doors in that indoor dragon chapter. God, people would not shut up about it. Uh, okay, so here we got Rickard. He has a ooh, silver blade. Ooh, I want that. I would love that, actually. Anyway, let's go kick some asses, shall we? Uh, we got a night killer. Almost a one shot. Getry should get some new lances. He's about to break his steel lance. What the fuck kind of enemies are these? I just battled Petrino. I think Gatry might be able to solo these guys. Well, maybe not the mages. Alright, Nefni, can you do anything? Yeah, you can attack this guy, but it's perhaps wiser to send Riss. Yeah, Riss struggles a little bit with doubling. He will double this guy, though. So let's have him take that guy on. Aura! I love this tome. Oh, let's crit! Kaboosh! Da -da 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 -da. I think Ray pointed out that I should give the Sonic Sword to Mists. Too bad I just used the Arm Scrolls. But uh, that would actually have been really good, come to think of it. I mean, seriously, Mist with a Sonic Sword? Ooh, she has the magic for it. I'm not sure how many Sonic Swords you actually get, but I do have a Hammerin staff, so I might just be able to repair it once she gets the weapon level for it. She's gonna need to fight a while, though, to get the weapon level for it. I'm gonna try to prioritize giving her some experience, if at all possible. Uh, there's some Lance Knights over there, though. That's a little bit problematic, isn't it? Do who should I dance for? I guess Ike? Alright, that's too far, isn't it? Rayson is so slow. He is so ridiculously slow. Do, do, do. Uh, I guess I can dance for Kal-El if she moves. <laughs> Kal-El. <laughs> Superman reference. Kalos should be able to take out one of those goons. What level is Raisin right now? He's level 13. He should get more experience. Alright. Uh, can we kill these guys with thunder? Yes, we can. Let's kill the Lance guy. I think Lances are a little bit more scary than swords. And a critical! Gotta love crits. Do, 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 And then we just got mist left. As long as we protect Raisin, that's kind of what's most important here. There we go. Oh, we got some dragon riders. Cool. Bring it on. Miss. Yeah. Oh, you're dead, son. You're dead. Kalil, why are you so awesome? Why are you so awesome? God, I love this chick. She's my new Clarine. What's going on here? Huh? Oh, they're shooting. Fuckers. That's not very nice. No! No, not my Kalil. Ow! No! Well, he actually calls it to level up. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Get speed and luck. Defense also works, actually. Although I would have preferred a little bit of speed as well. Oh, hello. 
We want to fight mists. This is actually somewhat tanky right now with her. Oh, that's a critical, I think. Yep. Oh my god, that's a really cool critical animation, actually. It zooms in on the sword. That's really badass. Ooh, I might have overestimated Kalil's ability to survive. Oh! Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Stay safe, Kalil. Stay safe. Oh, hello. What do you want to do? I don't think that's going to work out for you. Especially not if that Joffrey guy, guy attacks. The goon squad is moving in. Oh, why? Why? What What on earth makes you think this is a... How does the AI even work in this game? Why would it go for Gatry? I don't get it. A weapon triangle disadvantage. The ability to do no damage and get countered for insane... The AI seems a little bit random, actually. Okay, these guys are actually moving towards the green units. So I take it I'm going to have to make it in time there. And I guess I get bonus experience for each green unit I rescue. Sounds fair. Just like there's going to be a lot of uh, NPC battles. Never liked NPC battles. They're boring. Blah, 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 blah. I think the only Fire Emblem game, actually, even though it's a hack that made uh, green co soldier combat interesting, was The Last Promise. I really enjoyed having those green units with you in the ruins map. It's like That's like one of the only times where I've enjoyed watching NPCs battle. Because that map was so hard, it felt really great to have like an allied general with you. So these guys do move. Okay. How about Joffrey? Huh? What's going on here? Oh, it's those two. Lucia, Bastion, are you sure you want to do this? The words of Ayak ring yet on in my ears. We were so trapped by our own ideas that we were able to, un to sympathize with your feelings. I am terribly sorry. Because the two of you to think to put... Let's try that again. Because the two of you think to put me above all else, you say you will sacrifice your lives for me. Yet, even if I'm able to borrow of Ike's strength and win back Crimea, if the cost of that victory is the lives of the two of you, I shall never smile again. And joy, never again would that emotion fill my heart. Princess Alinsha, please aid Ike and rescue Joffrey and the others, then return to me and come back alive. For you, we would the world itself depart. We'll be back. Oh, so now I get these two guys on my team. Let's go check them out. There's Lucia. She's what people call Carla with blue hair. Um, she has a Lagoose Guard. Hmm, interesting. Might have to borrow that. She has the parody as well. The Earth Affinity, or, yeah, Earth uh, Affinity is apparently really good. What can I say? She's decent, I guess. I mean, good stats on her. Not sure how she is compared to Mia. I haven't used Mia for a while now. Uh, there's just so many other good characters. Um, yeah, she's okay, I guess. Then we have this guy, Bastion the Sage. Again, a, a dagger using a sage. He has a sp sp he has a corrosion. In certain instances, causing the enemy weapon durability to drop. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I seriously, that that has to be like the worst skill in the world. I mean, I'm not sure how much it actually drops the enemy weapon durability by, but that is usually never an issue. You never want to fight the enemies by breaking their weapons. That's called boss abusing. Bastion has a boss abuse skill. His wind affinity. I mean, his stats are not bad, but like, com like, let's compare him to Kalil, shall we? Like, 9, 21, 20, 19, 17, 9, 17. 12, 19, 21, 16. Yeah, he's good, I guess. His speed is not that impressive. His skill is very high, though. He has a stiletto. That's gonna go to Volki. Um, but no, I don't... I really don't... Well, I don't have Volki with me, apparently. I, I don't see myself using Bastion at all, actually. But I'm gonna bring him with me. Either way... Oh, I can talk. General Ike, allow me to apologize for my earlier remarks. I have a selfish request, but I would like to join. Yeah, alright, fine. Now hurry up. Huh? If you got time to apologize, you got... You got time to take out some enemies. 
Of course, to save my companions, I will give my all. Fantastic. Now let's go. <laughs> I like that. I like it's like being all rushed and shit. All right, we gotta go and heal up Kalel, and then we have a lot of shit to do. Get some uh, dudes to take out. Did I not bring Mark here for this? I guess I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't bring Mark here. Hmm, interesting. Do, do, do. All right, Gatry, take out the sniper, will you? Oh, you can't double him, can you? Well, that's a problem. Um, guess we'll send Ike up to deal with these guys. <laughs> he still has the Durand all. I do believe that's Makalov's sword. I guess we'll use it then. Why not? Makalov can just borrow it back. There we go. Yeah, Marka would actually be really useful on this map, so. And a lot of people are telling me to give Ike more experience. Hit points, strength, skill, and luck. So I will give him more experience, if that is what people want. And uh, I guess we could use a bow here. Actually, we shouldn't. We should kill this guy. Put the Schwanshika. Schwanshika bow bow! I'm gonna get over to that village as well, see what's in it. But there are a lot of ballista men here, and that annoys me. So we gotta make sure we don't send Kalo, like, in the front like we did last time. That was a little bit RNG. She could have easily gotten killed there. Had I been a little bit more unlucky. Where's Makalo? Let's uh, take back the Durandal, shall we? I think we can... No, we actually can't. No, we need the Durandal. That's fine, though. I don't understand why I gave Makalo bows. That's so freaking useful. Use, uh, less. I should have given him axes. Oh yeah! He, d he actually has the same critical animation as Mist, except that when Mist does it, the camera zooms in on her sword. Which is kind of cool. Also, <laughs> I don't like that Wyvern. I hate Wyverns. Alright, Kieran. Can we take out this guy? Should be able to. I don't think you need to use the Armangs for this. Boosh! And... Unnecessary soul proc. Seriously, why does soul even proc when you're at full health? It shouldn't. I mean, it's a cool animation and all, but it procs all the freaking time. <laughs> you kind of get used to it. It's not as epic. Alright. Um, guess we can kill this uh, sniper with Nefne, then. Oh, really? Oh, come on now. Guess we can position Khaled on the hedge, then. So she gets a little bit of extra avoidance. That's actually not such a bad idea. I gotta say, there's a lack of defensive terrain in this game. It really is. There's no fort since the game takes place in a, at a more realistic scale. Um, so yeah, the forts are like... Uh, yeah, we can kill this guy with the two thing. The forts are gone, uh, replaced with heel hedges, who are very few and uh, rare. Uh, there's no trees. The trees that are here are objects you can't go into. You got thickets, but they only give ten avoidance. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of saddens me a little bit to see that. Actually, we should really be careful of the ballistas. I'm going to highlight their range to make sure I don't step into them by by accidents. Because that would kill Raisin. I'm pretty sure he can't take uh, Ballista Fire. I also like how Ballistas are like in a cone. Okay, that's perfect then. He's just outside of range. Yeah, I like how Ballistas are like fired in a cone. That's actually a really nice touch. Uh, Mist actually has taken some damage. That's not nice. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy and then back off. But I want to give Mist a lot of weapon experience, because it would actually be pretty fucking awesome to have her use the Sonic Sword. Sonic Sword! We gotta go fast, after all. Alright, back off a little bit. Uh, can I see her sword rank? No, I can't. There's no, not a little gauge like there are in the other games. Alright. Move in. Is that it? I think that's it. Again, the uh, ballistas are keep are shooting at the green units, assholes. You stupid sniper! What are you doing? Now you're gonna get it killed. 
He shouldn't be out on the, there on the front lines like that. Hello. I do believe I placed him in a thicket. Not that that helped him. Ow, silver lance. That's scary. That is really scary. This is not so scary. One thing is that I think I got a lot of forge weapons on people I'm not using. I should really get better at moving these weapons around. I think Mia still has the Balmung. <laughs> oh no. Do you have a silver lance? Steel lance. I think Rolf should be fine here. Yeah, he's fine. But again, this is why I hate snipers. I shouldn't have moved him so close. That was my fault. Oh, hello. A sword paladin. With a silver sword? How will this go? Ah, eh, fine. Because you are about to get crit in the face. Do, 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 do. And a ding, ding, ding for Kieran. He's now level 11. Hit points, strength, magic, speed, luck, and resistance. God damn it, Kieran. You are amazing. Yeah, I fear for the life of the sniper now. Ah, he's fine. Is that a halberdier? I think that's a halberdier. Do 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 do. Green unit face. Call that sniper has a freaking death wish. He really does not care about his own well-being. He's like, it's okay, guys. I I got this. These green units, wow, that's a critical. These green units are not going, doing a particularly good job at defending. <laughs> like, they're rushing forward. They're like, oh my god, those crits. They're rushing forward like the Spartans in 300. Yep. Doo -doo. And Joffrey's just sitting there doing fuck all. Oh, more reinforcements. Oh, wow. Brigans. They're going after the villages, I take it. Ooh, a Berserker. Ooh. And of course he has a Killer Axe. 50% critical. I hate Killer Axes. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, oh, the peasant girls in this game are so cute. Thank goodness the Crimean army has arrived. We who have suffered much under Dane rules will finally be set free. We can put our faith on that, can't we? If there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it. Please, rescue our beloved Crimea. Savior? Uh, okay. I I think Ty Tybarn had that skill. I think that um, that's the skill that allows you to rescue people without any penalties, if I am not mistaken. Pretty sure. Well, don't quote me on it. Pretty sure. Alright, um, we got a lot of vibrants here. Might as well bring the new guys. I don't see why not. Actually, we have a talk screen that we should probably look at. Um, no, wait. There we go. Ike's got a conversation with Joffrey. Kieran's got one with Joffrey. Lucy has one with Joffrey. Bastion has one with Ike and Joffrey. Alright, let's try to talk to Ike then. Might as well. A lot of people pointed out how fun it is that... This game kind of nerfs sages by giving them daggers. It's kind of like how they're balanced in this game. Because pre-promoted sages are usually pretty fucking good by default. So giving them daggers is sort of like, you know, how you fix them. <laughs> Alright, killer bow. Not that we need it, but actually we do need a crit right here, I think. But it's okay. We're gonna get one. One Viver Knight down. Let's try to kill the other one as well. Could also, of course, we could dance for Rolf. That also works. We should actually move back. Because uh, I do believe Race is in ballista range now. I hope I haven't miscalculated. I want to hold these guys. Let's see. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, I'm actually going to use the Ichival right now because I want to make sure he dies. What? 
Mang's math is very good. But hey, thanks to a lucky critical, Mang's ma math is obsolete and irrelevant. 18 times 2 is not 38. Strength, magic, speed, defense. Thanks for leveling strength. I really appreciate it. Wow, Rolf's tanky. 15 defense. Hmm, cool. Alright. Um, we could let Mist kill that guy. I think we will. Yep. Why not? Actually, Mist is kind of injured. Maybe I should pick her up. I am really feeding Mist a lot of kills. I wish I'd save an ar saved an arm skull for her. Alright, I'm actually gonna pick... Oh, right, you can't pick up horses in this game. Well... Eh... Okay, well... The only thing that can really kill her is the Ballista, I guess. So... Hmm, this guy could deal some sick damage to Nefni. I think it's... Uh, I think an Iron Lance is what we want to use here. To make sure we actually kill him. He has a Bolgalon. Ooh. Haha! <laughs> Sucker. You you should know better to cause Bolgalon in a fucking river. It would be cool if the terrain kind of like synergized with that. Like, if you're on a river tile, then your fire magic is weakened or something like that. That would be kind of cool, actually. I'd like that. Mm, 37 to hit is not a lot. It's not a lot at all. Hmm. Only Kalo left. And Gatri. Gatri might get a uh, critical. 4%. One can hope, I guess. But rather Gatri than Kalo. Ugh. Not often we see someone actually capable of dealing damage to Gatri. But well, here's one. We'll just keep Kalo here for the time being. Uh, he's gonna steal a vulnerary. It's so cool how they trade vulneraries around in this game. I really like it. It's a cool feature. Oh no! <laughs> no damage. Why? Why are you shooting at Gatri? I don't understand. I really don't. Ugh, I hate that Berserker. I really, really hate that Berserker. I'm gonna have to deal with him from a range. Or Ike. Ike also works, I guess. What? Void not doubling. Did this one shake a break? Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, we got a weapon level up. I think we're I think we're S rank now in Axis, actually. So that's good. Why? Oh crap! The Iron Bow is next in line. Of course. I swear, bows as a secondary weapon is the most useless thing ever. A lot of like, a lot of people have pointed out that Void probably could have done the job of Rolf, but. I like snipers, because since they're locked to bows, you kind of have to use them, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. Oh, a sword master, is it? With an iron blade. Hmm. Would have been scarier if we had a killing edge. More NPC battles! I think uh, one of the sniper is probably going to die unless I uh, kill these guys somehow. Oh no, one damage! He's actually going for the sniper, but the sniper will retaliate. I think the sniper has a longbow though, so. It would be nice if they stayed alive. I would prefer the bonus experience. Go to the heal hedge, idiots! Or you could do that. That also works. NPCs duking it out, NPCs fighting. A battle that really is irrelevant, because none of them can kill Joffrey. Like, seriously, they could, there could have just been Joffrey, Joffrey there, and I don't think they would have been able to kill him. Because Joffrey's stats were pretty boss. Alright. Gonna deal with some... Uh, Pesky Berserkers now, and some, wow, some, some Lance guys. That was a little bit nasty. But what I could do, is I could, uh, hmm, I could send Kieran at them, I guess. Use the bush for extra defense. That could work. 
Hmm. I really want to kill the Ballista Man, though. Because he's annoying. Even though he only shoots at Gatry. It means if I kill these guys, then Raisin can move forward. I also think it's okay to send Kieran over to the green units and help out. To make sure they don't die. Also, Kieran has a conversation with Joffrey, so... Thanks for the healing! I'm actually curious about what that is. Okay, let's go and heal up Mist, shall we? Don't like Mist being in low health. Shall we try Lucia? Let's try Lucia. Whoop. Yeah, she's cool, I guess. I like her outfit a lot better than Mia. Like she, I don't know. I would have preferred her. Would have preferred it if she had high heels, but I guess that would have been just fan service Arama. I can hear Ray complaining all the way over here. Um, let's go kill the ballista man, shall we? Ah, one damage to Shorch. We kind of need to remove her if we want Gatry to kill this guy. I think he should be... Ah, Gatry can kill this guy easily. If he hits on both attacks, which he may not do. Which he may not do, indeed. But we got Nethany to finish the job, so we should be good. Just really want to get rid of all the fucking ballistas so Raisin can move around unimpeded. Because you know they're just gonna target Raisin and kill him. It's so fucking typical. And I still think he gets one shot because he has no defense. And ballistas are fairly accurate in this game. They're nowhere near the uh, dangerous level that they had in uh, Fire Emblem uh, 5, on the other hand. That was just pure torture. Ballistas in Fire Emblem 5. Didn't they also increase fatigue? Like, they drained two points. No! Rolf, I was gonna kill that guy with mist, you fucker. Ah. If I remember correctly, yeah, they drained fatigue, like, two points for every shot. That was really fucking annoying. So you always wanted Leaf to tank them, since he was immune to fatigue. Stupid game. But, yeah, a very cool one. I liked Fire Emblem 5 a lot. Alright, send Kalil in. Let's see, who should we dance for? There is probably... Oh, we can't dance for anyone. Oh, that's, that's sad, actually. I think Raisin's gonna transform soon, though. Um, we want to take care of the Swordmaster. We don't really need to use... We can use the um, Steel Sword, I guess. Steel Blade has such a ridiculous hit on it. Compared to the... Uh, according to Ray, this is a bug. Ow. But, still misses. Fuck. Alright. Gonna kill him with Ike then, I suppose. You know what? I'm gonna use the Killing Edge, since, uh, wait, what? Huh. Killing Edge has set Yeah, kill Killing Edge does not have 100% hit in this game, apparently. That was a little bit too OP. Oh, oh! Whee! I like how he turns around. <laughs> Oh, so anime-inspired. Oh, Ike, you little badass. You're too badass for your own good, you know that? Let's see, wait, how far can this... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good. I guess... Bastion will lead to see a little bit of action then. Oh, that's a really cool sprite. Holy shit, he is awesome. Look at that! Now that's a sage! Look at those shoes! Oh my god, those are amazing shoes. I love shoes like that. Well, you know, helping out a little bit never hurts, right? I really like the pre promotes in this game. They're really cool. Can I kill this guy? Yeah, I can. Might as well. Yeah, so I might take a crit from the Berserker. But I actually think Boyd can survive it, because Boyd's tanky as all fuck. We'll see. It's gonna be scary. I wish I could stand on the hedge. I, I done goofed a little bit with Makalo. I really did. He's running away to heal himself up. 
Alright, gonna take some hits from this guy now. It's a Vibrant Lord, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's a Vibrant Lord. Oh! Oh, hello! Didn't see you guys. Oh, fuck. I put a lot of experience into race, and so he could dodge things like this, so I hope he'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. I'm glad I picked off the ballistas now. Ow! Hmm. Raisin really needs an angelic robe. He is very squishy. Aha! Raisin means business now. Oh no! Sniper! Don't die! Okay, this could be very scary. This could be very, very, very scary. Never mind. Boosh! Oh, Berserkers are scary. Are there any uh, Berserkers you can get in this game, by the way? Like, Boyd's the only fighter I've seen. Um, are there any, like, axe users on foot that I have benched or missed? Or are there no pirates slash Berserkers in this game? Because that's a shame. I like Berserkers. This game needs more playable Brigands. Well, so you actually hit Boyd. Ironic. But I'm glad you were the one who hit him and not the Berserker. Because that could have been scary. And more Battle of the... Is that a Valkyrie? Does that Valkyrie have the capability to heal? If it has, it's not doing its job, its job properly. <laughs> oh no, Sniper! Stay alive! Stay alive! Don't move into the Ballista range. Aye, hey, don't... Don't kill the Valkyrie, that's not nice. There's a fucking heal hedge there. They should take advantage of that. They really should. Oh, the Sniper's in for some uh, serious business. Now, and now the boss is moving as well. I'm glad I've been moving Kieran up there. Heal, Sniper, heal! Protect your Valkyrie. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Take him out. There you go. Show him who's boss. There's a freaking heal hedge there, though. Move on it. It heals. What the hell? What's that? What? What's that? Was that a? Was that an? Yeah, that's an elixir. She has a freaking mend. Why aren't you healing your friends? Idiot. Anyway, I think it's time to make a cut here, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we shall attempt to mop up these reinforcements and reach uh, Joffrey. All hail, King Joffrey of the House of Baratheon. Seriously, that that show destroyed that name for good. All right. If you enjoyed this uh, episode, please consider leaving a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel tremendously. And as always, my name is Inmangus, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.